Looking back, I can't pinpoint the exact proof that convinced me that I lived on a ball flying through space at some really fast speeds, but I do know that it didn't take a lot of proof. This was before the internet, before we could actually investigate. We were all very young, and after all, why would they lie to us about something that seemed so innocent and beautiful as the blue marble that we had seen so many times in animations with globes, the very first blue marble that we saw taken from the Apollo missions. It's just so spectacular. Why would they lie and produce fake images of this thing? And that is perhaps one of the most important things to understand is why, but I'm not going to get into that. Many of you have been asking for proof, and I'm going to show you what I have seen and what many others have seen that lets us know we were given a false reality. So, the first thing I'm going to do is show you some very simple observations that you can make of space footage and high altitude footage and do some very simple experiments in the comfort of your own home and prove very simply that Earth does not have curvature, at least from the heights that we can go today as we are stuck in low Earth orbit for now. So here are some pictures of the curve as seen from the ISS or a lack of curve depending on the time that you take the screenshots during these videos of these alleged spacewalks. And here is a video of that curve and you can watch it change. I have not altered this video in any way. This is SpaceX footage, but you can see a curved line go flat and then bend perfectly in the other direction. The bending in the opposite direction is key to solving this mystery because it's so darn simple. If you know how a fisheye lens or a wide angle lens works, here is an example that someone else did and I can leave this link in the description for you but you can see how that straight line bends in both directions and it will also go back to being flat. But if you take a curved line and do this yourself and try to make it bend like the space footage that you are seeing with an existing curve, it will not bend in the opposite direction on the outer edges just like it does in the space footage. That is only possible with a flat horizon you can do this yourself, repeat it over and over, don't get mad at us if you can't do what you see in the space footage with a curved line. I couldn't do it, blew my mind that it's that simple. And that's just one of many proofs. The next proof is going to come in the amount of missing curve that we have in many images as the conditions are right. Because there is a reason we cannot see Mount Everest from the United States and it has nothing to do with curvature because there's a reason we can't see very far and that reason is known as atmosphere. If you've ever been somewhere where there are distant mountain ranges you'll always notice that the ones that are closer to you have more detail. The ones that are further away look a little bit hazy and start to blend in with the sky. Eventually they will vanish into the sky and you will not be able to see them. As you can see here, when I pan up above the tower, it looks like you're looking at the sky. You can't tell that's a mountain unless you have a frame of reference, something to compare it to, like the actual sky behind it. But things do get obscured by the atmosphere and you can only see so far. We have limitations to our sight distance. That's what makes this a little more challenging because not only does it hinder sight distance, atmosphere, does a lot of other cool things. It acts like a lens, it magnifies, it causes curve to rise and fall as conditions change. This is known science, it's not something we're making up. There is actual observable evidence of this. You can watch time-lapse footage like the one here over this lake where the curve literally rises and falls. And you can also see the mountains in the background are dropping. That's what freaked me out when I looked into this, that there are some illusions that have to do with atmosphere and I never knew that they existed to that scale and to that degree. 
but when you make repeated observations, you see some interesting things. Like this lighthouse. This was taken over a span of, I think, around 13 miles, where there should be a little bit of curve. Definitely a horizon blocking most, if not all, of the lighthouse you see here in the distance. But then the person came back and saw that the conditions had changed. It was a cooler climate that day. And the lighthouse, as well as the land below it, revealed that there was no curve on that particular day. And this rising and falling curve has everything to do with what's in our atmosphere, which just happens to be a lot of water. Well, sometimes it's a lot of water, but as you can see, when that water decreases, the magnification properties of the atmosphere also decrease. So there's some experiments you all can do that I'm going to share that I have done and many others have done but the one you're seeing here was done by someone else over a flat surface and they used a magnifying lens to see if they could replicate what we see when there's a lot of moisture in the air. And to their surprise, it actually did replicate exactly what you would see of a city skyline over a large body of water or a flat surface. And this property of our atmosphere along with perspective is why the sun will set as it circles above that's one of the things that a lot of you ask why can't you just zoom back in on the sun with your zoom cameras and that's a really good question but if you look here you will see that the sun will set and if you zoom in as far as you want with any zoom camera you will not be able to bring back what has vanished and has a vanishing point. The light will also be filtered out. This is why it starts getting dark when the sun gets too far away. It's because light is filtered out through the atmosphere and the water in the atmosphere. You can go scuba diving if you don't believe me. The deeper you go, the darker it gets. Even in crystal clear water, light is filtered out. Blue objects will turn pink as you bring them to depth that's why the skyline or the horizon turns pink most often when there is a sunset with a lot of moisture present you will see that pink horizon it's beautiful and it has to do with light being filtered out so it's one of those properties of our atmosphere and perspective that make things seem like the sun is going beyond a curve when in reality the great light or the greater light to rule the day is just circling above the earth and you can see it circling above because some of you say it would be daylight all the time if that was the case and there are places on earth where that is the case where the sun just circles above you and you can see it as it goes around and above the earth and if you get higher and higher of course there's going to be less atmosphere and you will be able to see further and this brings us to our next proof which is the long distance photograph the world record long distance photograph for now but the long distance photograph was taken over a great distance and from a great elevation i'm going to include the elevation and show you the math according to the curve of the earth that we have been given and show you that there is definitely missing curvature so here is the eye height of 9272 feet and a distance of 273 miles. And when you plug these numbers in, you get a hidden height of 16,030 feet. And then you can take those <laughs> measurements and convert them to miles, and you get over three miles of curve that should be hiding you from seeing those mountain peaks in the distance that are only at an elevation of two and a half miles, meaning they should be at least a half mile below the curve of earth they're not you can see a majority of this mountain range which is definitely not possible if earth were the size and dimensions that have been given to us our entire life and if this isn't enough proof for you that's fine there has definitely been some greater long distance videos and photos taken since this moment in time as people have found ways to modify their cameras 
and use unique lenses that allow them to see much further, especially when you get higher in elevation above the atmosphere. And that's what happened here. The footage you are seeing is of a distance of around 1,200 miles. That is over 600,000 feet of missing curve, which equates, when you do the math, on the globe calculator from that height to around 119 miles of missing curve. And you can see in the distance, there's definitely more to that horizon. It just gets obscured and you can no longer see it because of the atmosphere filtering out that light. So spectacular proofs that prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the earth is not what we've been told. And yet, even looking at this, it's okay to be skeptical. But even with all of this proof, there's still something missing. What keeps us from falling off of this flat and motionless plane? That's a great question as well, and that is the firmament. I'm going to show you the firmament and what proof we have of it, because yes, we have seen it. It has been captured on video. It's a highly censored video that I put out the very first time that took off and was banned in the U.S., but I'm going to show it again, and just hopefully it will stay around long enough to wake up more people. But this footage was taken at a height of about 70 miles. And like we have heard in the Bible, there are waters below the firmament. Didn't really know what that meant until I saw this footage. And it's also tied in to one of the lost books that mentions this phenomenon. It was the Book of Enoch. And it talked about stars rising up to become lightning and not losing their form. I thought this sounded crazy. But you can see it in real time as the stars will often light up and get really bright as these lightning sprites, which is a rare phenomenon or rarely captured phenomenon due to the fact that they are above the storms, you can see waves move across the firmament as these things shoot out of the firmament through the waters. It looks like fireworks shooting out of a lake turned upside down. It is something that many have ever seen with their own eyes in slow motion because these things are very fast. You have to have special equipment and be above the storm to capture them. And these individuals, that's what they did. They flew above the storm and filmed what they thought was upper atmospheric lightning. They are well above the clouds. This is way above that, near 70 miles or so we're told. Could be slightly higher, do not know. But these waves and the definite shape and structure of the firmament is seen when these things are happening. It is something that really changes you when you know what it is. It's proof that I can't deny that there is a firmament and it's not just the atmosphere like we had thought. The father spent the entire second day making this. It didn't take him an entire day to just make atmosphere. He made the expanse. The firmament for all of us to see is what the sun, moon, and stars are inside of and it will help answer a lot of questions as to why we see certain things like lunar eclipses, comets. All of these questions we've had can be answered. It just takes some digging, getting past all of the intense censorship, and having a mind that seeks truth.